What is up, you guys? It's your boy Rob. Hollow Avarice back again with another reaction to a Star Wars property. A Star Wars Celebration 2022 is uh, wrapping up. Uh, they dropped a trailer for the follow-up to one of my favorite games of 2019, I believe it was. Uh, Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order. Um, I don't remember when Fallen Order was first announced, it was mocked. Because they announced it with a... Uh, person sitting in an audience, no trailer, no title, nothing. Just, hey, hey uh, we're working on a game called Jedi Fallen Order. It's going to be a single-player experience. Uh, enjoy it. Because EA was getting a lot of flack at the time. Uh, it was post-Battlefront 2. It was a nightmare. Um, but they just announced Star Wars Jedi Survivor. They have released about a minute-long uh, teaser trailer. I am very excited to see what has become of... Uh, Cal Kestis. Uh, very intrigued. The, the the first game had a pretty concrete ending. Uh, with them slicing the holocron. It left it very open, though. They, there's many things they could do. I'm curious. I'm curious what to see, so let's just uh, not waste any time. And get right into this. Here we go. We got our troops. Some more water. Respawn. I like two of those companies. Okay, this is the Mantis, and it looks bad. Where is this? Is that the Grand Inquisitor? No, then the voice is... Okay, we got maybe an Inquisitor. When you can't win, what is your next move? Okay, so it's the same species as the Grand Inquisitor. Did he have Kestis' lightsaber? That's someone in a back to tank. BD, a uh, cow looks good. BD one's back. Where is that? Jedi Survivor. Ooh. 2023. Ooh. All right. Uh, So we're starting on the Mantis, which looks bad. It looks rough. Is this Tatooine or maybe Jakku? I'm seeing ships up there. So it could be like a scrap planet like Brock had in the last game. This looks like a crash landing. This does not look like a, no a, a normal landing spot. And I'm only seeing one step of feet leading away. Um, I felt like one of the strongest parts of the previous game was the characters. Uh, Grieve. Um, Night Sister Marin. Obviously Cal. BD was adorable. And... What was his master's name? His master's name was... The Jedi Master is with him. I'm blanking on her name. Remember, like, Trila was her apprentice who became one of the Inquisitors, one of the sisters, but... Ah, I'm blanking on the master's name. Uh, I'm curious if they're all going to be in it. We didn't really see them... In this trailer, that for a second it looked like the Grand Inquisitor, but it's this is on uh, Coruscant. It looks like, kind of looks like a a Senate office. That's a back to tank. We're fighting a Sith or a Inquisitor here. Who takes the lightsaber and is giving it 
to the troopers who give it to this guy. Because those look like his robes. So this is Cal's lightsaber, which has been taken. And then we come out and see this person. Hmm. Who from the images kind of looks like they only have one arm. Where is this supposed to be? It's a back to tank that's become like overgrown. So could this person have been in stasis for a while and we're trying to find someone who has information or find someone who knows something? Um, it's good to see Cal. It's good to see BD. Uh, what I'm really hoping for and I know a lot of people are hoping for is to see um, Cameron Moynihan, who played Cal Kestis, in some of the live action shows. Uh, this is during the height of the rebellion between the prequel trilogy and the Ridge Tridge. Um, I would love to see Cameron Moynihan. He's the right age. He, he's obviously uh, show up in. Maybe the Ahsoka series. If they do like what happened before or in her interceding years between uh, the end of Clone Wars and the beginning of Rebels. Um, although this is probably happening at the same time as Rebels, right? It's probably happening just before Rebels. Um, I know they're premiering right now the, um, the Obi-Wan show. Um, so I've yet to watch the first two episodes that did just drop, but I'm going to watch them this weekend. Could he be in Obi-Wan? That would be cool. I would like that. I would like that a lot. Obi-Wan's only a six episode series, so I don't, I don't know if they're going to, yeah, waste time on Cal when there are other stories to be told, but I think it would be cool. To get a mention, get a cameo, whatever. Um, and I don't think he's old enough, unless they like, aged him up to be in Mandalorian season three. Which I get, it's focusing more on the other part of the galaxy, not so much Jedi stuff, and with the exception of Grogu and, and Luke. No, looks good. 2023, man. Can't get soon enough. I'm excited. It looks cool. It looks pretty. I get it's just a teaser trailer. We're nowhere near actual gameplay. But uh, I'm on board. Sign me up. Like I said, I loved the first game. Uh, I feel like the characters were by far the strongest part. But the writing was top notch. The way it dealt with the lore and dealt with stuff that we'd seen in Clone Wars like Ilum. Uh but also hinted at the future of Starkiller Base, so they're taking stuff that won't be relevant until the sequel trilogy and bringing that in uh, and kind of establishing, hey, there's a lot of cool stuff they could set up here that could make sense later. Filoni is great with that if they um, keep having him oversee this. The combat was top-notch. I... I thought it was very Dark Souls-esque or Sekiro-esque with a lot of parrying, a lot of blocking, very precise timing. I died a bunch too, which is kind of why I, I draw that comparison. Uh, man, it was a, a good game, and I kind of might want to go back and play it again. Or maybe just watch a playthrough. i probably just watch a playthrough. It was such a good game, though. I really enjoyed it. All right. That is my opinion. I am very much looking forward to this. This is what I'm most curious about. Who the hell is that person? I can't think of any people with one arm who would... No clue. Very curious. Very much looking forward to getting these answers. Uh, tell me what you guys think. And I will be seeing you guys until next time.